Hey YouTube, what's going on? Junio here, and I'm back again with another reaction video, back again with another viewer request, and what's going on? Where's the green screen? You can see the room again? This hasn't happened since 2018. Hmm, what are those boxes? What could this all possibly mean? As many of you know, my life has been quite busy recently, and this is a part of why. I'll uh, reveal all in an upcoming video once everything's settled down a little bit. But for now, we have to deal with this. You might have noticed that I'm doing a Nightwish video, that's because I uh, actually want people to watch it for two reasons. One is that I've got an interesting video idea that I want to bounce off you guys and get some submissions for. I've recently gotten a couple subscribers uh, submit music that they made themselves. And I've been thinking about this for a while, but it'd be cool if I stole Anthony Fantano's video idea of reacting to subscriber music and did the exact same thing. I'm sure a lot of people who are subscribed to and watch music channels are also very involved in the music world themselves. Even myself, I make music every once in a while. I find it very fun. And I thought it'd be cool if uh, any of you subscribers, viewers out there, make your own stuff, comment it down below, and I might do um, a video reacting to subscriber music. The second reason is to show off this trailer that I made through RuneGate Studio. And if you're interested, the link will be in the description down below. Check it out. Wow, wasn't that super exciting and very cool? Again, the link will be in the description down below if you want to check it out. And uh, let's get on to the rest of the today's video. So as I previously mentioned, today's a Nightwish video, and um, it's for a song that's been requested by a few people. Not tons, but a few. Including Kari Kinunian, Enigma Tim, once again, Anna Kitali, Recurrence Theorem, Pumpkin underscore Maisha, Paul Wakefield, Janine S, and Zorn Melissa. Thank you to all of you for suggesting this song. Of course, everybody else following their example. Leave your suggestions in the comments down below and the next video could be yours. And that's pretty exciting. The reason I was drawn to this song is because I remember a lot of comments saying that in this performance, Floor does some death growls. Now with her vocal versatility being so legendary already, I felt like it was my duty to check out the song and really see if the hype lives up to reality. Of course, respect Floor immensely as a vocalist and as the third singer of Nightwish. I think she's been doing really well. And I've thoroughly enjoyed all of the videos I've seen with her through this channel. Let's just jump into another video, another song, another Nightwish tune, and uh, let's take you guys along for the ride. All right, I've got the official lyrics here. I've got the official live video from the Nightwish YouTube channel. And uh, let's uh, ba -ba bam Oh, this is on a cruise. No, this isn't back in. Wait a minute. Hold on. Did you guys want the vac in 2015 or the Nightwish cruise? I saw one comment about the cruise. Uh... See, this comment says, do it from Wembley, and this comment says, do it from the Nightwish Cruise. The Cruise one is the one uploaded to their official YouTube channel, and it's a higher quality. So therefore, we're gonna do that one, okay? Problem solved. I'm sorry if the Wembley one's better, but I had to make a game time decision here.
Okay. First off, you know, suitably theatrical and dramatic. Uh, the instrumentation is, as always, is very epic and grand. The tone with which they come across is very, it's like of a different age when every every word kind of held more weight. You know what I mean? <laughs> no? Well, too bad. I know what I mean. So it's a cruise. Does that mean it's, like the, it's just like a, a night, like a cruise where just Nightwish plays every night? Because that sounds be awesome. I feel like I could faintly hear growls during the chorus there. I thought, I thought I could also hear just kind of like more higher pitched harmonies. I wasn't sure. I'm not sure what's going on here. Maybe it's, I'll have to pay closer attention next time around. But so far, so good. Taking a look at the lyrics, it says, tear me to bits, enjoy the scene of screen name, verbal vanity, training the words imbued in filth, your tongue, oily water under my bridge. You have the world. It's all for you. I wish you'd find the lost in you. Grateful for the pain. It proves we're alive. Can you feel it? I can't make you want the truth, it's up to you. Yours is an empty hope. So the song seems to be directed at somebody who's probably not a positive influence in this protagonist's life. I really like the wordplay in the first verse here for stanza or whatever, saying, turning the words imbued in filth, your oily, your tongue oily water under my bridge. And also just talking about tearing me to bits, verbal vanity. So I really this word, this person's words really wreaking havoc upon the protagonist's psyche, self-esteem. I like how, you know, the water under the bridge is basically saying like, you know, any past grievances, are just, it's fine, it's water under the bridge, don't worry about it. But their tongue, their words and mutant filth kind of stain that river nonetheless, making it impossible to, I guess, let go of or really break free of. Words have impact, guys, keep that in mind. So I think I, I am hearing the death growls in here. I wish they would bring it a bit more forward into the mix so it could be a bit more prominent. Marco, I think, yeah, Marco's vocals in this performance are very on point. Uh, for me, sometimes they're a bit hit or miss, but they're sounding really great right now. As far as the death growls go, they seem good enough to add emphasis to the song. They're not really loud enough in the mix to really reveal if they're, I guess, just the just the quality of them. I suppose in the context of the song, they do sound they sound they sound good. The lyrics in this section saying, "Feed me to pigs in your fantasies. Your sea roars bitter elegies. 
like narcissists who bribes the pool, a hollow voice ruin with a roof. Again, these lyrics really seem to be detailing somebody who does not have the protagonist's best interests in mind. Uh, I'm sure there's a few different references to be unpacked here. Perhaps to see roaring elegies is is from something or feeding. I know like the feed me to the pigs is like a common, not a common saying, but a common idea, I feel like, but I'm not sure if it originated anywhere. Obviously, Narcissus is the Greek legend, the guy who died staring at his reflection of the pool and turned into the flower, right? But again, the song speaks of this person's language and words and voice echoing hollowly. A hollow voice ruined with a roof. A ru If you think about the idea of a ruin with a roof, you know, if the roof is intact, they're protected somewhat from the elements and have this and have almost a, from above image of completeness. But when you get to the interior, this ruin, it's all kind of falling apart on the inside. It's not holding up at all. There's no strength there. And uh, really any major calamity could bring the entire structure down. Apply what I just said to, you know, the fragile psyche of a person who uses petty words, threats, I don't know, backhanded comments and, and things like that to build themselves up, build their foundation, their structure, keep slapping on rotten pieces of wood to the ruined building and um, in hopes that it'll, you know, save them from the eventual storm. Is that all a little over dramatic? Perhaps, but so is this genre of music. <laughs> Stop, life is now, still all for you, turn from the hate, Turn from the smoke. I see the parchment of your soul. The notes of the song. Join your voice. Okay, maybe this they're just it's like a bit of a redemption thing. Like I know you have good and you just make the choice to be better or something. I don't know. Maybe the idea of yours is an empty hope just applies to this person who thinks that bringing other people down will build them up, but that's not how they should be living or doing things. And that's maybe that's what the empty hope is. I don't know. Anyways, let's enjoy the rest of the song. Like a siren at sea, some might say, on a cruise. Okay. That was some like rock and roll kind of vocals. They're almost like a little punk influence too. Very uh, gritty, very harsh. Definitely more harsh than we've, I think I've heard from Floor before. Except, you know, accepting those death growl things during the chorus, of course. But during that little bridge interlude bit where it was very ethereal, I had a comment about uh, it's not being like a siren since they're on a cruise ship. But I imagine that those very ethereal uh, notes is exactly what I can imagine a siren sounding like straight out of Greek mythology, luring sailors and ships to their doom. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, you can hear it a bit more there.
Yeah, not bad. Really not bad. Okay, so that was Yours is an Empty Hope live from Nightwish. Uh, again, another solid tune. Not as epic or grandiose as The Greatest Show on Earth, perhaps. Not as operatic as Ghost Love's score, but a very solid tune nonetheless. Very enjoyable. Um, again, just another example of Flora's vocal versatility. It's cool how they they, they, just, they even decided to have her incorporate the Death Growls. I wonder like how that idea even came about maybe she just was like hey i can do this and they're like oh cool let's put it in the chorus of the whatever yours is gonna be help it'd be interesting to know i'm sure some of you will know the trivia down below and you'll just leave uh, an entire essay for me to read and that's great i love those kind of comments they're great to have they're fun to read so let me know let me know how, how this even came about but yeah she did really well i uh, and the song again their songwriting is is really good i like the language that they use as well and I always find that their song structures are quite interesting too, which again makes the experience just more enjoyable because it keeps you on your toes and you don't you know expect you don't know exactly what to expect all the time. And I love their little like kind of when they chill out and do the bit more ethereal parts before going right into the hard rock influenced sections. So I don't know. Overall, nothing but good things to say about the song. I, I have no complaints really. It's just solid. It's good to listen to. It's fun. And that's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure to like it. If you like the channel, make sure to subscribe. Of course, everybody have a great day. I'll see you some other time. And uh, yeah, make music yourself as my subscribers. Comment them down below, and in a future video, I'll, uh, I'll review them or something. Who knows? Anyways, that's it. Later.